Hello my friends, this is Moogle Fantasy, and welcome to another episode of Luffy and the Fortress of Doom. Today, we're in Linz, and we're gonna head to the next cave, which is actually the most annoying dungeon for one reason. Uh, two reasons, actually. Um, one, there's a really annoying enemy you have to fight, and two, there is an extremely... Like, the, the gimmick of the dungeon is absolutely obnoxious. So, we're gonna be dealing with a lot of that, but first, let's get these chests. Oops. Okay, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Anyway, so we're gonna go to our next dungeon by just following this path. If you didn't know what we did, we just, we just walked into the house and went downstairs, which for some reason leads to a path into a cave. So yeah, and we got a crazy pine, which is basically a recolor of the, I don't even remember what the original enemy name was, like Mad Tree or something. <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, uh, this this dungeon is actually quite annoying, but it's not super. Um, it's not super hard. I know that I might die at least once in this because those were frogs are the worst, and the reason why I think they're awful is because they basically cast flood, and it hurts like a motherfucker. So. Yeah, we gotta be extremely careful. So what we're gonna do is obviously heal and then go in here. So basically we gotta meet a little fella here. So um, one thing I wanna be careful with is to not fall into a pit. Yes, you heard me right. There are pits. That's okay though. There, I did that on purpose because there's a chest down here that we're going to get. Uh, just put on float Oof, I haven't played this in a while we're gonna put on a sweet water because we're actually at a decent level you know two things I want to get in this dungeon is the Illumina I think that's what it's called um, and I need to get the silver sword because that's a really yeah there we go we got the Illumina and we need to get the silver sword which is um, a really good weapon it doesn't matter who you really put it on really so I'm probably going to most likely put it on aggro, just because he needs the damage. These chests just contain, I don't know, just random items and stuff. Mostly stuff that I don't really care too much about. Of course, you get a high magic. So, you got to be extremely careful here, so that's why I'm corner cutting a little bit. And I'm trying to be extremely careful. Okay, there's a dragon egg. And just as I was talking about... The were frogs. You want to be extremely careful and kill one of them at ASAP because if you let these guys run rampant, it's going to suck and they could easily destroy your whole party just by casting Flood. It's literally the only spell they have, but it's the absolute worst to deal with. So, yeah. Okay, sweet water ran out, which is fine because we have plenty of them. I'm just walking around to make sure I don't really miss anything. I'm not going to get every single chest, so don't you worry. It's not going to be monotonous to watch, and it's not going to be monotonous for me either. As long as we're get, not getting into too many battles where it's completely overbearing, we'll be fine. Alrighty, so... um. Get boost off one more time, just to get people up to snuff. Alright. X-Bomb. There we go. Like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about how, uh, what we get. So, what I'm going to do is follow this. God damn it. I should have figured. Alright. We'll go back up. Yeah, this dungeon can be pretty damn annoying. So, what we got to do is follow the path around here. And, uh, I'm trying to remember, oh, oh, Cave Rock, another recolor, <laughs> who would have thought, ain't that typical in RPGs, right, sprite color, uh, sprite recolors, uh, it's always fun, luckily we're at a good level and we have some good armor, so, these guys aren't too much of a threat, not at all, for the most part, none of the enemies really are that much of a threat, Late game, maybe, but not here. So, we'll teleport. And 
Actually, you know what? Um, that's not a good idea because there's a switch. I just, I just remember now. Um, there's actually a switch that we have to... Dan, this is exactly what I was talking about. See how much damage that does? That shit is scary. Especially two of them on the field. It's not fun. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use boost again. I know, this is getting kind of annoying to watch me just constantly go into my menu and heal, but... <laughs> I need to heal, dude. Oh, wait, we gotta go in the middle. What am I doing? I don't, uh, I don't know what's in those chests. I'm trying to remember, um, if I had my, if I had my thing written out, which I usually do when I record, um, then I could tell you, I'm actually doing, um, another playthrough along with this. It's a secret. I'm going to keep it a secret, but as you can tell, that switch actually allowed us to go down here, so... And our sweet water ran out. But yeah, I've been recording a playthrough alongside of this. It's a secret. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I could really say at the moment. I hope I didn't miss that silver sword, because I'll be really mad if I did. I don't think I did. I think it's right here, actually. No, it's a river. <laughs> I'm just I'm just paranoid. Okay, so we got a Mad Lily and Werewolves. I don't know if we actually ran into these guys before, but I guess I'll just leave it in here. So. Alright, take care of this thing, and oh shit, I didn't even realize the main character is freaking really low health. Uh, I'm not going to use your magic this time, Lufia. I'm actually going to use uh, my own. There we go. Okay, so we need I need to get that silver sword, and I'm trying to remember where it is. Uh, no, that's that's actually to get out of the cave. Or, to progress through story, I guess. <laughs> That's not where we need to go. Our sweet water ran out. Actually, the sweet water is actually quite helping. Okay. Oh, we got an opal. That's always ni nice. Uh, yeah, I really don't want to miss that. Is this it? No, it's Axe Potion. There's a teleporter here, though. Ah! There we go. We got the silver sword. That's where it is. I was looking all over for you. So, silver sword increases our damage by 20? Or, wait, not 20. Roughly... Well, it's quite a bit, actually. 20-ish? If, if my math is right. I could be way off, but... Yeah, it's around that. So, we're going to put that on aggro. Because aggro is pretty much our powerhouse. I mean, so is Mog, but Mog's kind of like a jack of all trades. He can do damage while he can cast. So, like, I'm not too too worried about giving him any damage. Okay, so that last fight, aggro almost died. Then again, I kind of realized that he doesn't really have magic resistance, so he can get hit pretty hard if he, if a flood hits him or any spell for that matter okay so what we're gonna do is not go this way let's just go and backtrack a little bit we could just get the hell out of here we don't really need anything else i did get the silver sword so that's gonna be really freaking nice it's gonna be freaking awesome so uh i hope i didn't go the wrong way i don't think i did Yeah, I don't think I did. Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> I was just here before. Okay. I'm stupid. I just had a blonde moment. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to heal real quick because, well, as you can see, that one fight really hurt Lufia, so 
use our sweet water, and then uh, continue on. Trek on. I can't make the joke because we're not going to trek, so. Oh well. So we're gonna go ahead and go up. Wait a minute. I am going back. What am I doing? God damn it. I just had another blonde moment. I think you go up to get out of here. Well, to progress through the dungeon, I mean. Good god, I'm stupid. Okay, so I think you go... Okay, yeah. You have to go down these stairs. I'll just keep this battle in. Try not to completely pad this with so much editing to the point that, like, <laughs> there's no battles at all in this video. I want to make this watchable. There we go. Gouter of the Mad Lily. I think that's what the enemy is called. I could be completely off on that and think of something else, but... Alrighty. Now we're in the right spot. Oof. Well, I didn't mean to step in that. <laughs> and then my party followed in it. Okay, so let's get that. I want that, actually. Power Gourd. Okay. Well, I'm glad we did that because that's actually really good. <laughs> it's worth getting. Mind Gourd. Alright. We're getting some really good stuff here, actually, now that I think of it. So we got a revive. And our sweet water ran out. Yeah, those were frogs are obnoxious. Like I <laughs> I can't tell you how annoying those enemies are. So we go well. And where does that lead us? Story progression. Excuse me, I just had a burp there. Anyway. Are you Brant? No, I'm Clack. The Doomed Island Researcher. Doom Island Researcher? I'm interested in Doom Island. Ask me anything about it. I want to know about... Hmm... Let's ask about Doom Island. East of here is the Ring Island. It was created when Doom Island fell into the sea. There's a lagoon in the middle of the island. Some folks say that the Fortress of Doom is at the bottom. In the center of the island, I see. There are three sea caves around the Ring Island. They lead to the center of the lagoon. I recently discovered something unbelievable about Doom, Doom Island. What did you discover? The ocean currents flow near Doom Island, but they've changed recently. What caused that? Well, it seemed that the island start, started to... Well, it seems that the island's starting to move. I'm afraid something terrible is about to happen. Oof. Let's see. Dual Blade. The Fortress of Doom should hold the Dual Blade. The Fortress of Doom? That's where the final battle was fought. The Dual Blade sank, in, sank with it into the sea. The fortress was supposed to have disappeared with Doom Island when it fell into the center of the ring. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's ask about Brant. Do you know anything about Brant? He's my friend. What's your business with him? I need Illumina. I heard that Brant knows where to find some. Yes, he'd be the one to know. He lived by it. Of course, he said that there's hardly any left these days. Well, I did just get one not too long ago. I heard Brant was here, so I came. You know where he is? He told the townspeople that? Hmm. Brant's in Mars. Mars near here? Uh, is Mars near here? <clears throat> His girlfriend lives there. That's a secret. You see? So, he said he was here. Mars is a port north of Linz. Follow the shoreline by, the, by boat and you'll find it. If he's not in Mars, he's in the caves looking for Illumina. Okay. Is there, I want to ask about the Illumina. There's a lot of it in, in the old days. Now you can find it in Fargo Islands. The Fargo Islands are north of here. Brand goes there all the time. There might even be an Illumina here if you search this cave well. Funny you mentioned that. By the way, who are you? I'm Mog, descendant of Maxim. Maxim des descendant. No kidding. It's true. I have something to give you. Follow me. Hmm. I wonder what it'll be. For someone that's a researcher, I'm sure he might have something that uh, benefited Doom Island a long time ago, wouldn't you think? Found it long ago. This ring Maxim used. 
This might be a great help to you. Oh, shit. I was right. Can I really have this? It's been yours for so long. Please, take it. If it helps to destroy the Sinestrals, then all my research has been in vain after all. If you really have Maxim's blood, you will defeat the Sinestrals. I believe it. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so... Whoops. So, that's kind of why I didn't um, give Maxim the weapon. Because you get the Wavering. So basically, Maxim does a little bit more damage than Aggro. Which is fine. So what we can do is that now that we have this, is we can actually... Uh... Get out of here. Once I f Once I can navigate through the goddamn menu. Okay. Let's escape out of here. So what we can do is... We're going to warp back to Linz because... I'm lazy. There. Uh... Okay. That's not where I want my boat to be. Actually, in fact... Let's go to forfeit. Okay, so... Here's a little trick for you. I uh, just realized when I went to Linz that... Well, we're not really supposed to be in forfeit. We actually have to go back to Baku. Um, you could probably do this a little bit differently. But basically, we're going to ride the shoreline. Um, where the hell's the inn around here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about Clack. I'm trying to find the goddamn inn. There we are. But anyway, so here in this island, um, or not island, but <clears throat> this place, we can actually travel to this and ride up the shoreline. Basically, um, between where the Tower of Light is, because we can't really do that when we're in uh, Linz, because the boat, for whatever reason, spawns in the pond in the town. So we gotta go around it. So we have to go, we basically gotta circle around, which can be really annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and probably edit out these battles so they don't get completely, oh, I think Luffy will learn bounce. It's gonna be nice, actually. That's just a pretty good spell. Anyway, so we're gonna ride the. Well, I think we just went the wrong way. Now that I think of it. Uh, I don't think I did. All right. So we're basically, I, th I think we are in the right spot. Ah, here we are. That's her rat. Okay. <laughs> that is not where we're supposed to be. But at least we have the warp spot. I am right in the shoreline, just not in the right spot. Hey, at least look on the bright side. We don't have to worry too much about having to travel all the way to Herat now. We can just warp there. That's the cool thing about this game is once you go into a town, you're able to like warp anywhere. Here we go. Is this what I think? Yeah, here we are. We are in Mars. So I did go the right way. By the way, um, I had to cut out that battle, and I didn't realize that I was fighting fucking dinosaurs. Apparently, uh, Lufia turned into Jurassic Park. But anyway. So, what we're gonna do is... Well, there's an inn. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go rest in the inn. 
And I might call this an episode. Because now that we're in our next destination, we can uh, go talk to... Uh, I think it was Brant. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Lupia and the Fortress of Doom. You guys take care of yourselves, and I'm off. Peace out.